All right, welcome to the review of the EVG Motors uh, e-bike. Uh, I forgot the sub name for this, but this is a bike. Uh, uh, this was an, a design inspired by somebody called Lee Iacocca. Um, I mean, I, I did very brief video reviews on this bike, but this is the frame was one of the first e-bikes to come to the US and um, that's why this design uh, as you can see everything sort of encased you don't see any external you know batteries or anything like that like you would see on today's e-bikes now this frame is one of the older ones and it is one of the heavier ones so if you're planning to get this frame just uh, and let you know that it is a heavier it is a heavier frame this is uh not the stock bike the stock bike was 24 volts and i think like 200 or 250 watts or something like that this bike is not that this is a modified version of that bike it's got a whole new controller whole new motor a uh, whole new uh, uh battery everything's new on it except for uh well the frame itself so we're gonna just take a quick look at this bike um there is some damage on the bike because it is a used bike um that damage has been repaired by the uh dealer that i bought it from but it's got you know some some uses um uh, sign of wear and usage so um we're just going to start off with these wheels the, these are as far as i know they're 20 they're 24 inch i believe I think they're 26s. Uh, I believe these are 26 inch wheels. Uh, these tires are uh, puncture resistant. I'd say they have a little bit of dirt on them. I'm in a park. And that's the uh, brand of the tire there. If autofocus will kick in, uh, you can actually see who makes these tires. Um, these are a little bit more harder of a tire because uh, they're puncture resistant and they're designed for, you know, your commute to work and whatever. They're not designed for racing or anything like that. But these tires will give you the best mileage in terms of um, range uh, it comes with a the bike does come with a rear rack and you can install one because it's got the the main mounting points now this isn't a heavier gauge um, this isn't heavy gauge steel it's just your standard gauge so it really doesn't uh, support that much weight but you know if you want to bend the law you can bend the law on that uh, the motor this is a, excuse me, I'm in front of the sun. This is a 500 watt motor. This is a e-bike kit. You can go to their website and get that kit put on your bike if you so desire. But that's a 500 watt motor. The controller is 48 volts. Uh, the battery is 10 amp hours. So about my weight, I'm 150 pounds. This will get you about uh, 25 miles on the charge. Uh, this can even be set up in a dual battery, uh, dual battery configuration giving you double or triple depending on the battery you upgrade to. Uh, now you're probably wondering where is the battery is here and this is where your, the battery sits this is where all the power comes from and you simply let me turn off my bike first you would simply just pop this latch here and the battery just comes straight out and as you can see that is all of the uh, that's all that's in there really uh, that's just the contacts where this battery interfaces with you just pop that in the battery weighs about five pounds my last bike if you remember it was a uh, looked like your standard frame like a standard bike frame it was heavy I think a little bit heavier than this one maybe a little bit lighter I'm not sure uh, it's been a while um, but the battery was external and it flopped around a lot because it got damaged in shipping. The contacts were down here, the controller was on the bottom, uh, and nothing was really uh, guaranteed to last because it was a cheaper option. This bike was not a cheaper option. This bike is actually a water resistant bike, so you can ride this in the rain if you so desired. Um, I wouldn't, I still, j just because it's all electronics, I would only ride it in the rain only if you really have to. But um, I rode this thing in the snow, and it spins like crazy because these tires, these tires are, again, they're not built for digging and mountain climbing or anything. You can take this thing on a bike path, but it will be a little bit bumpy because those tires are a little bit harder. It does have uh, uh, shocks in the front. Um, no lockouts, very basic travel, but it does smooth out the ride. Uh, this is more of an upright bike, so you, if you can see the handlebars, there it's more of a I don't want to say chopper style but it's not 
uh, your standard mountain bike. Actually, this is not a mountain bike at all. Um, so uh, this is not an aluminum frame. It's actually a steel frame. So that's what really gives it its weight. Um, the seat is shock absorbing. It is more like a, you know, more like a saddle uh, than anything because it. Uh, it does help smooth out the rides and uh, gives you that extra support. Now, this is the stock one. This is the EVG stock one. So, um, and it's got a little bit of wear. You can see cracks in the seat. There's a little bit of a rip back there. I did fall on this bike recently. It just came back from the shop. Uh, I fell on ice. So, uh, to let you know that these tires are, they're so thin, they don't grip anything. So, the spring is almost here. Um, it's actually like 45 degrees now, but it's still February. So, um... Uh, the, uh, again, not, not the best bike to ride in the winter, but in the summer, this bike's amazing. Now you want to know how fast does it go? You know, how does this thing perform? Well, before I get into that, let me just tell you all the accessories I have on here. None of this was stock with the bike. Actually, this did come with the bike, but that was an aftermarket add-on uh, when I purchased the bike. But this is a 250 lumens light. I drive this thing in dead darkness, and this really lights the way. It is USB rechargeable, so I don't have to worry about stupid batteries. Uh, here is the biking computer. I've already got a 30 uh, miles on this bike. Uh, here is like, it's my camera, it's my dash cam, but it's not a GoPro. If you know GoPros cost $300, this bike in this, you know, this configuration, it was $1,700. I did talk them down $100 less, but it was not an inexpensive bike for me, and that was a lot of money for me to spend. And I'm not upset with the bike, I'm a little upset it's heavy, but the speed that this bike um, goes compensates for that so it is a seven speed uh, seven speed Shimano um, let me actually give you a good look at the that's it right there it's the motor again a little bit filthy as this park is you know a little bit muddy after the recent rain um, but that's a seven speed Shimano it's got a brand new crank on it so it's a little bit easier to uh, pedal um, uh, the bike does 27 miles an hour, this uh, 27 miles an hour in this 500 watt 48 volt configuration, and that's on the motor only. You add a little bit of pedaling, you can go up 30, 35, and um, it does, and this thing doesn't hesitate to get up to 27 miles an hour. I'm actually impressed with the speed of this bike. Um, actually, after I got on it and uh, tested it, um, actually, I didn't even test it when I got it. I actually purchased the bike before I even tested it, and then when I got on the bike, uh, I was very impressed. I mean, it was it was uh, very quick, and um, um, it came with a lot of little things. The bag was actually a free add-on. The guy just threw it in, and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this thing for a ride, give you guys more of a first-person view using that camera here. It's called the Emerson GoPro. Oh, excuse me, the Emerson Action Cam. It is not the best thing to buy um, uh, if for if you want good video quality. It's just a cheaper mountable camera that comes with a helmet melt a helmet melt and a bike melt I'm gonna do views from the uh, camera and views from the um, uh, from my helmet and hopefully that gives you more of an in-depth view of what you're looking at so uh, hopefully I went over all the details on the bike uh, if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comments below uh, and I'll do one more walk around just so you can get a, a better view of, of the bike Again, you can see some of that uh, damage over here, but again, this is a used bike, and it is shock mountable. Oh yeah, uh, complimenting my front light here, I do have a rear light. This will act as a headlight or a rear light, and that's why I like it, and it's also USB rechargeable. What I'm thinking about doing is installing here uh, some sort of uh, USB powered battery charger, uh, a nice, you know, 1300 milliamp one, um, a 13,000 milliamp battery, and that'll recharge all of my, you know, lights and stuff while I'm on the road and I don't have to worry about stopping or anything of that nature. So um, this bike, uh, I can't even put it in there. There's quite a bit of room in that casing. Um, the battery and controller is all in one. So again, that's what keeps everything uh, a little bit light and a little bit compact so it's time to do a first person view or POV um, uh, of this uh, bike ride and hope you enjoy
I apologize, I was going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 